So uh, Dan couldn't join us because he's eating dinner. How do you guys feel about the big news? We're thrilled to learn that uh, Rob Gronkowski was reportedly being traded to Tampa. I say traded because he's still on contract with the Patriots. Uh, the trade was quickly confirmed. The Bucks are giving up a fourth round pick, I believe, and getting back Gronk and a seventh. Um, instantly, I wanted to hear Katie Nolan's reaction, so I brought us back together. <laughs> how, how you doing, bud? Hmm? What? H how you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? Just, ca just hanging in there? You, mm -hmm. you, you're, you're not affected by this at all? No, I didn't even know it until you said it just then. What was it? <laughs> a seventh? Gronk and a seventh for a fourth? I didn't hear that. Which I actually think there at first there were reports like, oh, the Patriots might move up in the first round, which would have been infuriating. Um, people are saying a fourth seems low, but they didn't even plan on having Gronk, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they traded a player who was not even going to play for them. Uh, I also would remind you. Oh, yeah, he was retired, I think was the word he used. I think retired was the word that he used. So I'm, you know, it. Cool. You fourth, neat. I love the Patriots have never traded for a fourth. It's a thing we don't do all the time, constantly, you know. And it's not like the Bucks had O.J. Howard or something we could have, you know, <laughs> tried to get in return. A fourth? It I sounds, do think that I'm, might happen, yeah. I was I support surprised it. that they didn't throw. I mean, yeah, I know you're saying you don't care and you feel nothing, but like a, a little betrayal, perhaps? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. I mean, I'm not the WWE. I bet the WWE feels betrayed. He's the, he's got a title. He is the 24-7 champion, which means whoever tackles him in his first game back gets to retain the 24-7 title. Yeah. So I think if I were the WWE, which I'm not because I'm a human person, uh, I would be pretty offended and upset and on the edge of my seat here because what betrayal, you know? But for me, just a person, what do I care? You know, what do I care that Gronk left our team and was like, I don't want to do football anymore. And we were all supportive and great about it. And then now that he's realized that, oh, when you're just Gronk all the time, but you're not a football player, nobody gives a shit about you anymore because it actually gets old really fast. Just because he's realized that now he's going to go back and play. But what do I, why would that matter to me? I, w I was going to say, I actually – I think this is good for the Patriots um, to get a fourth rounder when they expected nothing there. If you look at their history of fourth round draft picks, it includes like James White, you know, incredible values. And uh, Gronk actually wasn't that great his final season. I don't know why people are still talking about him as he's this dominant hall. I mean, he is the greatest tight end in the history of football, in my opinion, but in that final I season, think well, Kittle. I'm Just me personally. Like, I've always thought that. I said that before he was in the league. I'm like, George Kittle is the best tight end of all time. So, I don't know. Gronk, I don't even – I don't – I'm a Kittle – we're a Kittle household. <laughs> so, okay. it's whatever. I mean, I, good for him. Good for ti new tiny Gronk. Good for skinny Gronk. I'm so happy for him. I hope he, you know, does well or whatever. Cool. It does – sound a little bit I mean you, I don't want to like draw a direct analogy but you do yeah. kind of sound like someone who was broken up with by another person who gave you a reason like I'm not ready to be in a relationship and then months later you see they're in a new relationship and you're questioning I'm is that not am I no totally that's happened to me here? that's absolutely happened to me multiple times um but not this time I don't give a <laughs> I don't give a there's not going to be football. So why do I care? <laughs> why do I care about all these little moves everybody's making? Tampa Bay? Suddenly Tampa Bay is a place to be? It, was a place, it wasn't even like a spring break destination. I'm, I'm super, I'm so happy for them both. I don't, it doesn't matter. None of, nothing matters, quite honestly. Except that this is empty and I need to get another one. Was there something that you wanted? Because you lured me here under false pretenses. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect you to show up looking like a hacker. Like a what now? You look like a hacker. Does this, is this personally offensive to you? Because if you look at everything about your personal appearance is an attack on me. 
is an attack on me. You asked me to do this at five o'clock. I said, absolutely, Mina. And then you're like, actually, let me make it 5.30. And then you're like, you know what? I'm not going to be ready till six. And what did I do? I showed up. I'm here knowing full well, all you want to do is laugh at my pain. I'm happy for you. So it's about time the internet knows you're not this sweet. You're a mean, you're a mean person. I'm covered in Cheeto dust. Yeah. Dan had a dinner though. I hope Dan's enjoying his dinner. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.